Welcome to Entabor Institute's Introduction to Project Risk Analysis, Risky Project Basics. In this video, we'll just do a quick overview of the uh, Risky Project software, uh, show how we add, can add data, schedule and cost data to the software. Uh, we'll then show you how we can quickly add risk and uncertainty to our project schedule and run the simulations and we'll do a quick overview of the results that we get out of the Monte Carlo simulations. So we take a look at this. We've just uh, created a very, very basic schedule, and, but this schedule <coughs> has uh, five activities, each with five days. It has a resource. Now that resource has a cost which will allow us to model time dependent costs. It also has some cost and income for each activity. Uh, the next stage of the workflow is in the risk and in the, there's an integrated risk register. We can assign risks to the schedule or co costs uh, or other uh, risk categories that we're monitoring or managing. And the risk register has obviously properties. It comes with a risk matrix that can be uh, customized, uh, including uh, mitigation and response plans, and a uh, built-in risk report where we can generate uh, customized risk reports for every risk in the system. We'll then move on to the analysis, which includes a result gain, which is a visualizing, visualization of the simulation results as a Gantt chart, the project summary, which shows us the overall results of the simulations, including the uh, project with and without risks, uh, cost analysis, cash flow, risk chart, success rate, and crucial, uh, crucial task, which is basically the critical path uh, in a probabilistic setting where we monitor how often activities land on the crucial task. We won't look at all of those results today, but they are there. Uh, the system software also has the ability to work with tracking, so if we have actuals, we can enter the actuals into the system, so we can start to use, uh, monitor the project uh, with actuals and taking into account the risk and uncertainty we've added to it. And there's a tracking chart as part of that. And finally, there's the reports, and the reports has a series of different uh, reports. Some of them are hard-coded, some of them are ad hoc, where you can change the uh, results that you're looking at, the data that you're looking at, the view, and then you can quickly go to the uh, print and output that as a uh, report. Uh, there's a statistics report, which could, will take the three major charts that we use in uh, Monte Carlo simulations with a, a histogram, a cum cumulative probability, and the sensitivity analysis, and it will output those to a, um, to, to a single report on any of the activities in the schedule. So let's quickly take a look at how we can do this. So <clears throat> we're in the project view. Now, one of the first things I want to do is I want to add some risk <coughs> to the system. I'm going to go to the risk register. I'm going to add risk one. I'll call it schedule. <coughs> so this will be a schedule risk. Now, <coughs> I'm going to quickly add it to three of the activities. and drag and drop it over there. It's going to assign it. And we can see that this risk is going to be added, assigned to these three activities. We give it a chance that it will occur. We'll give an outcome type. It's a relative delay. And we'll say 20%. Now when we go back to the schedule and we'll take a look, <coughs> we can see that these activities are already been at these risks can be added, it gives us a visualized queue visualization, a queue that we've added those risks, assigned those risks to those activities. Um, however, we also have some costs, and I want to add some cost risk. So I'm going to say add risk 
to, we'll call it cost. And I'm going to add it to all of the activities. And we're going to say there's a little bit less of a chance that it will occur. And we'll give it a fixed cost increase. In this case, we'll say that there's a chance that each one of those will have oh, And we're going to make this triangular just to add a little bit more complexity. And so now this risk is being added to all of those activities. If we go back to the schedule, actually, where this risk is actually being added, it's being added to all of these costs. So each one of these costs can now be escalated due to those risks. <coughs> Now one of the other things we want to account for is the quality of the schedule or variance that is going to be driven uh, not by the risk but being driven by the activity, by uh, unknown unknowns or just the schedule uh, quality in that it's not as accurate as we'd like. So we can quickly add that, but I'm going to multiply all of mine on a uh, coefficient of the base is 0.8, the high duration is 1.5. We'll give it a, quickly give it a triangular distribution. <coughs> and we're going to do the same to the cost and income because I think, again, <coughs> we have a set across, but that might vary also. There might be some variance there. And in that, we can go, we'll multiply that on a coefficient as well. But we're going to have a little less co uh, variance on that. And we'll give that triangle as 0.95 and 1.1 for the high. And we can see that we've added that. At which point, we can quickly run the, <coughs> run the simulation. If we go to the risk register, one of the things that the risk register will do is it will all automatically rank the risks based on their impact. Uh, <clears throat> and because we don't have a, a hierarchy, we're not looking at it any particular risk. It's ranking as the overall impact. If we go to uh, duration, the schedule risk obviously is going to have much more impact. The, the risk to which is a cost has no schedule impact at all, so it's ranked very low. Now on the cost side, <clears throat> you can see a bit different. Now one of the things, because the schedule risk is driving time dependent resource costs, it is actually ranked higher than the cost risk that we have. So that's an interesting finding. It allows us to uh, get a very good understanding of how our risks are impacting our schedule in terms of how we should be ranking them. And what sort of priority we should be giving them when we manage them. Now if we go to the analysis, this is the result Gantt and what we're seeing, we can see all the risks that have been assigned to the schedule, these are the cost risks. Now the current or the original schedule is the white bar, the results, and in this case it's the P50, is the blue bar and it's you can see because of risk and uncertainties we're starting to move to the side <coughs> to the right and the schedule is going to be longer and it's going to cost more now if we go to the project summary this gives us an overall view and we can see without risk the project would be 25 days and $35,000 and with risk at least at the base it's going to take 30 days and cost $38,000, so about, about almost $4,000 more. <clears throat> if we want to take a quick look, we have the three major uh, histograms that we look at, which are cost, finish time, and duration. We want to take a look at that. And this is the integrated frequency and, and uh, cumulative probability chart we can take a look at, well, what would be the chance that we would have made that original 
$35,000. Almost nothing, 1% chance. Our P80, <clears throat> is around $40,000. $40, so our contingency at this point is about $5,000. Now, any of these charts can be pulled out <coughs> and copied, or we can report them using the statistics report that I mentioned earlier. <coughs> the last thing we'll take a look at is the sensitivity analysis. And the sensitivity analysis tells us which activities or risks <coughs> are the, uh, the main drivers in the schedule. So we can see that activity numbers 1, 2, and 3, because they have that schedule risk associated with them, we're looking at duration, are the main drivers of duration. For cost, uh, we see the same thing. So we can know what we're looking at in the is a similar sort of thing that we're looking at in the risk register is ranking the sensitivity of each one of these activities to the overall or the overall project cost sensitivity sensitivity to each one of these activities. time we're getting the same thing so it's really telling us that our highest priority should be taxed uh, at the activities three two and one which would have relatively the same impact on the schedule uh, that's it for the quick overview of risky project basics uh, in the following videos we will be going into much more detail regarding uh, the analysis of our Monte Carlo simulations uh, reporting and risk management